The refugee flow out of Venezuela is so large that its neighbors are actually trying to close their borders, even though there are treaties that disallow that. And historically, there hasn't even been a need because it's in a re remote jungle-like area that wasn't widely inhabited. But the government of the northern Brazilian state of Roraima has asked the country's Supreme Court to halt the entry of Venezuelan immigrants because over the weekend, four people beat a shop owner and some locals said the assailants were Venezuelans. That prompted a mob to destroy the tents of the immigrants camped in the streets. And then they exodus, uh, there was a big exodus. Some 1,200 Venezuelans retreated back over the border. Venezuelans entering Ecuador and Peru will also soon be required to show hard-to-get passports because the bureaucratic state in Venezuela isn't working very well. And those two countries don't even border Venezuela. Colombia believes nearly one million Venezuelans have moved to the country in the last two years. Now, in Venezuelan corporate news... The country's U.S. refinery Sitco is on the verge of being seized by creditors. A Canadian gold mining company called Crystal X is trying to get the U.S. Marshals to seize it and auction it. They are fighting that in court. What would that mean? I mean, we have Sitco's all over the United States for gas stations. Right. So that, that would mean that... Well, so this is a very interesting question because, theoretically, the Russians own 50% of the collateral <laughs> as well. So it is incredibly complicated how they would decide how this thing got divvied up. And there's still a fight about whether or not it's actually a product of the Venezuelan state or if it's the Venezuelan oil company. What happens Crystal to the operations? Doing the same. Would, would these gas stations well, still be open in the meantime? So some of them have not been functioning well because um, they haven't been able to get the Delivery. oil out of Venezuela to actually run through the refinery. So it's, it's a... A, a mess that of unbelievable proportions. That spills over into all kinds of places you may yes. not have considered before.